sit. Ayan. So, hi everyone. Good evening to all of you. Dahil uh, wala pa po kami masyadong, uh, hindi kami makapag-Facebook live. So, siguro maya-maya we're going to have our uh, Facebook live na lang. Okay? So, for tonight, we're going to, kamusta naman po kayo? So, yung iba sa inyo nagsabi na kung saan ba or um, saan location sila. Okay? So, tonight is a very, very special night for me. Bakit? Kasi I've, in the past few weeks, I've um, interviewed a lot of uh, um, entrepreneurs and freelancers and mga business owners. So, ngayon naman, ngayong gabi na to, uh, we will talk about ano-ano uh, nga ba yung mga tools and how are you going to start. So, yung iba ngayon dito na nandito sa webinar na to, sabi nila na they are working as a call center. Okay? So, Tonight, we're going to talk about paano ka nga ba mag-start. I know some of you, uh, you've already uh, researched and yung iba sa inyo, alam ko na din na you've already done a lot of research. What are the things that you should do? Actually, meron kami mga naging estudyante before. They are call center agents. But right now, nag-quit sila because yun nga, sabi nila medyo nakaka-stress. Okay, so let's start our... Before that, I would like to introduce myself first sa inyo, of course, syempre. So, by the way, I, I am Marilyn. So, I came from a poor family lang. Um, and that time, no one is, you know, no one will subsidize my my study before dito sa, when I was in college. So, wala talaga. I worked and I studied. I became a working student. So, buti na lang, I have a... Uh, you know, tita and other relatives who helped me to finish my study. Ayan. And after that, so, syempre, there's a lot of struggles in, you know, making a lot of uh, earnings. Kailangan kong gumawa ng mga ng, ng pera para matapos yung study ko. So, after that, I became a public school teacher. So, di ba, ang layo, no? Tapos, naging uh, working student ako, naging teacher ako. Ngayon naman, I became a freelancer. So, paano kaya nangyari yun? So, nung una kasi, I, I am, um, you know, sabi ko nga, I'm, I'm a public school teacher. But while I'm, I'm doing that, working with that, I also work with my own free school. Okay? So, I'm uh, the managing partner of uh, one of our preschool po namin. So, meron akong tinayo na preschool. And then, after that, while working as a public school teacher, at the same time, I have my own school. That time, noong 2010, uh, yung husband ko, he's already working online. So, he's making um, mga websites sa Multiply. And then, kung natatandaan nyo pa, and that time also, I helped him to you know, train other VA. So right now, yung nakikita nyo sa harapan, they are already a successful VA right now. Yung iba dyan may mga team na. So nakita nyo, 2013 pa yan. Nag-start kami mag-train. So in UP, here in Quezon City. Okay? So I am also a speaker. So syempre, I was invited. Nung naging uh, nag-VA na ako, before kasi yung husband ko, uh, I don't know that I'm already doing VA staff. So parang that time, Somebody invited me and Don Bosco and talked to students also. So nakakatuwa kasi yung mga students in Don Bosco, they know already some of the tools. So imagine ninyo, they were just college. Pero yung iba sa atin dito, nag-start pa lang tayo. So sabi ko sa mga, they are very lucky. And also, I love uh, doing, you know, volunteer works pag meron akong free time. And I also love doing my own volunteer works. Kasi nga, we have a preschool. So gumagawa kami ng mga... Uh, volunteer work. So, kunyari, pag may nasunugan sa mga squatters area, yun yung ginagawa namin. And uh, recently lang, last year, I became a member of Philippine Association of Professional Speakers kasi nga, I want to hone my my speaking ability kasi feeling ko, I'm very shy type person po ko dati. So, kailangan ko na mag-build yung confident ko, maging confident ako sa sarili ko. Okay, and uh, I'm also a member of Toastmaster Club. And then, uh, finally, I decided to continue my my career as an online uh, freelancer mom. 
So, yon, I'm a business-minded person also. And right now, I'm doing part-time uh, work. So, I, I'm an HMO and financial advisor too. Pero part-time lang po siya, di ba? So, ang dami, no? Sabi nila, kaya mo bang gawin lahat yan? So, kaya nga siya part-time lang. So, um, I'm also one of the managing partner of a small agency here in the Philippines. So, this is the remote agency. We're in, uh, if we are training uh, VAs, so, dito namin nilalagay, especially if we have a lot of clients. So, it depends on the client needs. Kung ano yung need nila, pag na-interview si VA, so that's the time that we will tap the VA that he or she passed the interview. So, actually, I would like to share with you yung perks or uh, what I really like about being a freelancer. Sobrang masaya ako kasi uh, when I was working as um, as a teacher, syempre I don't have any, a lot of time. Kasi uh, after my my work, I'll go to my business so, so offline sa afternoon. So, sinecheck ko yung preschool or yung mga teachers, how how they are working or kung okay na ba sila, yung mga students, what happened. So, for that time, wala akong freedom to, to, to go outside, no? yung time ko. So, ayun yung freedom. Ito talaga yung gustong gusto ko. Freedom to travel. Although, Asian lang naman siya. Pero, di ba, iba talaga if you travel uh, with a family. Yan. So, nakakapunta ka kung saan-saan. So, pero, it doesn't uh, it doesn't mean naman na uh, kapag nagtitravel ka, so, yun. Siyempre, uh, kumikita ka ba ng malaki or what. But, basta ang pinaka-importante ganyan yung perks mo no nasa na naging freelancer ka na or naging VA ka na. Okay? Yan. So, in this webinar, this is for you if you are an open-minded person or if you are ready to learn and if you love to explore, uh, explore the VA world. So, ready ka ba na to take the risk? But meron nga, uh, someone told me before or asked me if Pwede na ba siyang mag-resign once na nakapag-train na siya or what? Kasi uh, he or she is earning 100 plus. So, before kasi ako, I really, I did not resign. And hindi talaga ako naniniwala pagka VA ka. Parang ako actually, ako talaga yung pinaka against ako sa husband ko eh. Parang um, sinasabi ko sa kanya, totoo ba yan? Parang hindi naman. So, paano mo kukunin yung sahod mo? Something like that. So, pinagtatawanan ko siya in short that time. Kasi akala ko that time, wala talaga siyang work, wala siyang, wala talaga siyang pinagkakakitaan. So, until one day, yun nga, pinakita niya sa akin yung earnings niya sa Odes. Odes pa yun that time. So, ngayon, ano-ano nga ba? Yung iba nagtatanong din sila sa akin eh. Ano-ano nga ba yung mga high income skills kapag virtual assistant ka. Ngayong 2019 kasi, sobrang dami o very in demand na yung uh, mga work from home, virtual assistant, especially sobrang traffic ngayon. So, yan yung parang tinatanong ng ibang tao. Sabi niya, paano ba? Parang mas masarap nga sa bahay. Yeah, masarap siya sa bahay talaga. Kaya lang minsan, you will feel na medyo nabuboard ka. So, yun yung reason bakit may part-time ako. Okay? So, meron tayo. So, today, we're going to talk about the high income skills ng 2019. So, dito tayo sa high income skills. What are the high income skills na pwede yung pasukin working from home? Okay, so kung ikaw ay magaling sa website or marunong kang uh, gumawa ng mga software, so you can do that uh, doing each, kasi ang web development, it's really parang sometimes it's a project based, so sometimes naman uh, per hour, depende sa client mo kung paano. Kasi uh, most family talaga or yung husband ko talaga, uh, nag-start siya in uh, website development. So, medyo mahal siya talaga that time. So, $25 per hour siya that time. Okay? So, paano nga ba gagawin to? So, of course, you have to supervise and coordinate yung maintenance ng computer systems ni client kung magpapaset up siya ng, ng, ng isang website. Diba? You have to configure and then you will also install and develop the computer systems, si mga hardware and software. So, yun yung mga pwede nyong gawin. If kayo ay ganyan na VA, na gusto mag-VA, so yan yung mga skills. So, paano mo naman ito train yan 
para sa ganyang work. So, unang-una, syempre, nung college ka, nag-aaral ka ng software development or website development. Of course, kailangan kumuha ka ng degree. Pero kung hindi naman, kung medyo magaling ka naman sa computer, pwede naman yung mga short courses lang. Okay? Pwede yun. Ah, kung computer science ka, kaparehas nung sa similar field mo. And then, you have to focus din sa mga building classes, mga similar courses, and learn to write code and program computers. So, syempre, kailangan matutunan mo din yung mga in sa software development. So, continuous learning. Kahit ako kasi ngayon, right now, both of us, kami ng husband ko, we also uh, want to continue our learning and upgrade. Kasi everyday, nag-iiba yung, uh, nag yung mga trending technology, ano ba yung in, di ba? So, sa web developer naman, ganun nga, if you have experience sa computer programmer or graphic designer, pwede na rin. Um, you can do this, yung web development. So, ito, copywriting, business writing, and technical writing. Sobrang, sobrang dami din ng naghahanap na client sa amin niya, or mga VA na mga client. Kaso, yun nga lang, actually, ito, itong, itong ganitong skills, so, medyo mahal siya. Uh, medyo mahal siya. Uh, so, kasi ito, per word. So, kung magaling ka sa writing, and you know how to write, sa mga business plan or mag-edit. So, ito yung mga gagawin mo. So, prepare ka ng advertising copy ng isang publication on a television or social media accounts ng client mo. Or, you can work with their clients to develop their marketing campaign. Okay? Next one, kapag business writer ka, as the word implies, so prepare, of course, yung mga reports, yung sales proposal, and then the business development department. Ngayon, if you want to write reports about internal project, yung mga annual financial reports nila, business plan, and of course, the strategic plan. So medyo, dito naman sa technical writing, ang pwede mong gawin dito is to read and content na madaling maintindihan and then write also the maintenance manuals and instructions. You can also edit manuals and yung mga illustrations na mga photographs or diagrams. So, paano ka mag-train about that? Siyempre, uh, you have to write every day or practice with your your own skill. Kasi minsan, lumalabas na lang yung pagiging writer mo, di ba? E paano naman if you will just tell na, paano yan, Ms. Lynn? Kasi hindi ako talaga magaling sa grammar or what. Meron tayong mga tools, di ba? So, meron tayong grammar yun yung madalas mong ginagamit. So, kung medyo tingin mo mali yung grammar mo, you can go to grammarly.com. Especially pag nagsusulat kayo ng mga proposal. Okay? So, if you're an English journalist, nag-graduate ka, communications or advertising, marketing. So, yan yung mga pwede mong pasukin na skills. So, sa business writing naman, of course, bachelor's degree in uh, communications and journalism or business. Kung dyan ka-graduate, pwede mong pasukin yan. Okay, same with the technical writing. So, ano ba yung specialized for technical writing? So, ito, pwede healthcare, kung HMO or insurance, pwede engineering, pwede namang web design and digital marketing about doon yung isusulat mo and then web design. So, ano yung pwede mong gawin kapag ikaw ay writer? Okay, number one is you have to organize, okay, and create the content. Design the layout. Pwede kang mag-create uh, ng message mo. Design a brand or identity online. Yung mga unique graphics, mga Photoshop, website maintenance, uh, optimize your website in different device and audience. So, isa pang in-demand na, na skill for 2019. So, kung ikaw naman ay medyo gusto mong medyo uh, tumaas ang level, you can do teaching, training, and coaching sa so, online. Okay? So, like what I'm doing. So, ito naman, these are the skills lang. If you just, you can check yourself, ano ba yung skills ko right now? Uh, saan ba ko pwedeng pumasok? Actually, there's a lot of skills or kung feeling mo, ako kasi at first, I really don't know what's my skill kasi sobrang dami kong gawin, gustong gawin. So, like for example, I want to handle social media but I'm not that good before and then I'm not good in WordPress pero Siyempre, inaral ko siya. And since my husband is already there, so medyo madali na lang sa akin na magtanong kasi I'm already my coach uh, beside me. So, kung hindi ka tulad ng mga ibang walang coach, so siyempre, talaga magre-research ka lang and wala kang mapagtatanungan. Okay? And mas mapapadali kasi if you have a mentor talaga. 
So, what you would do on this job, syempre, planning, researching, kasi coaching yan eh, designing and teaching an online course. So, like what I am doing. So, how would you train for this work? Syempre, mentoring or coaching. So, ito, free webinar natin. And then, ano yung magagawa mo? Syempre, we will just assess you, like, uh, yung mga nandito ngayon, we can assess you, ano yung weakness mo, ano yung gusto mong mangyari. Okay, help client to set goals to overcome their barriers. And of course, a-assess namin yung progress and improvement ng mga student namin if they are really good in freelancing. And meron kami mga assignments na on the past few months and years, so ganun yung ginagawa namin. So, um, some of our students naman, sa awa po ng Diyos, they, are, they have already their work. So, isa pang skill is that, let's move on, yung legal and administrative skills. So, medyo maano ba ako? Mabilis ba ako? Okay lang ba siya? How? Okay lang naman. So, type 2, if I'm okay, kung hindi masyadong uh, mabilis. Okay, okay naman po. Okay, so now, so let's have yung legal and administrative skills. Kung meron kang skills na ganyan, uh, about legal and administrative, syempre, advising your client. So, dapat yung, pag meron kayong client na, kunyari, uh, gusto niyang, Actually, bihira lang eh. Bihira lang yung mga ganito. Pero syempre, yung iba dito, nag outsource pa din sila dito sa Philippines kasi nga, medyo mura. Okay? So, parang mga assistant lang to sa mga law firms, yung mga ganun, mag-research lang sila. How would you train for this work? Syempre, uh, yun, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, advising the clients, mag-draft ng letter, kailangan marunong ka din magsulat. Okay, and of course, the communication is very important. Eh, paano naman, pag sinabi ng iba, eh, paano yun, Ms. Lynn, kasi I'm not that good in English. Okay lang ba yun? So, any, actually, hindi naman kailangan na sobrang fluent ka on your English skills because, uh, kasi, ang um, kailangan lang is you can, you know, you can communicate or you can talk in English na naiintindihan naman ng client mo. Kahit naman hindi British accent, okay lang din ka. Now, sa sales and closing, so deal making, ano yung kailangan, ano yung ginagawa niyo dito sa mga job na to? So, if you are a real estate agent, sometimes sa mga cold calling naman, yung kung meron tayong mga call center dito, so you will just coordinate sa mga client or yung mga, yeah, yung mga international client na appointment. So, meron silang ibibigay ng mga apps kung ano yung pwede mong gamitin. Okay, so mamaya, we're going to talk about the tools na madalas namin ginagamit or mga tools na pwede niyong gamitin. Okay? So, excited na ba kayo? So, type yes if you are excited. Ayan. So, hindi naman po ako sobrang mabilis, no? Okay lang naman siya. Now, ano yung pwede mong gawin? So, ang pwede mong gawin is that if you have experience in HMO or insurance, kung insurance sales agent ka, uh, kung medical, meron ka mga, kung ikaw ay isang sales representative ng isang uh, um, ng hospital. So, how would you train for this? So, syempre, yun nga, may experience ka dapat. Now, sa public speaking naman, uh, usually dito, yung mga international client namin, kapag public speaking sila or mga speaker talaga sila, ang pinapagawa nila sa amin is yung, yung mga funnels or yung marketing, Facebook ads marketing. So, kailangan medyo familiar din kayo doon kasi it's another skill para maging uh, VA ka. Pero, pero, uh, hindi mo kailangan aralin lahat. So, kailangan, you have to know first kung ano yung niche mo, kung ano yung gusto mo. Okay? Kung mahilig ka mag-social media, so siguro social media management ka. Kung mahilig ka mag-sulat, siguro dun ka sa mga writer. Okay? So, magaling ka sa web, tingin mo, okay ka. Kung wala ka naman talaga experience o wala kang skills typing or data entry job, pwede ka doon. Basta mabilis ka mag-type. Okay? So, kapag ganyan naman, prepare well-crafted speeches. So, sometimes, um, pwede kang magsulat ng mga speeches ng mga international clients. Pag kasi nabi nila, I'll be attending a conference or a business meeting. Can you do me a, can you write for me a speech about this? Blah, blah, blah. Tapos yun, bibigay siya sa'yo ng parang outline on how are you going to write the speeches and uh, you know yung kung meron siyang community event na magsasalita siya yun pwede niyo po gawan yung client niyo international kung meron ng kayo magsulat okay so creative skills naman nandiyan yung financial skills so ano yung pwede niyo gawin yun nga same then 
if uh, you have experience naman sa insurance or economist ka before, tapos or financial manager ka, or you are an accountant, pwede bookkeeper ka, you can do this all, uh, all this one. Kasi meron tayong uh, accountant VA. So, yun, kumukuha yung mga ibang business owners sa ibang bansa na medyo natitipid. Okay? Nag-outsource na lang sila. Mostly ang kalaban natin kasi usually yung mga taga-Indian tapos dito sa Philippines. Okay. Dito na tayo. So, excited na ba kayo? So, do you have any questions? Kasi pwede tayo, before tayo mag-proceed sa mga tools, I can give you an access to ask questions. Okay? Ayan. Okay, so sino may question? If you have a question, pwede nyong i-type sa chat box natin bago tayo mag-proceed sa mga best tools that we can, that you or we are using. So meron ba kayong mga questions? Karen, Leroy, ay yung ibang mga attendees right now. Pwede na kaya tayo mag-Facebook Live. Okay, any questions? None for now. Okay. Sige. So let's try to proceed or let's try to have our live. Tignan nga natin if we can have it na. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so once again, dito tayo ulit sa tools. Okay, best tools for freelancers to scale your business or yung pagiging VA mo. So number one is yung calendar tools. Ito, pagka VA ka na ang nakuha mong client is to set an appointment. Okay, so ang Google Calendar, you can find it out sa Google mo. Kung meron kang Gmail, so automatic you can have this one and download ka if you have your your iPhone or sa mga Android phone, pwede mo siyang i-download. So, sa Calendly naman, later, we're going to... So, ngayon, I will just talk about some of the tools. Then later, uh, i-demo ko siya sa inyo. So, mas maganda if you have a good internet, habang nag-discuss ako, susundan nyo rin ako. Okay? So, i-discuss ko muna, then later, magkakulang tayo ng hands-on training. So, pero hindi lahat kasi sobrang dami po niyan. Okay, so isa-isa lang natin i-discuss and then I think pwede naman kayong mag-tumingin uh, sa group sa P1 if we have other lessons na ginagawa doon or webinar ulit. So mga free webinar muna and then let's move on na. Okay, move on na po. Ito naman yung mga cloud storage. Okay, when you say uh, cloud storage, uh, it may be easy to store mga ma-access nyo rin yung mga files ni client. So, for example, uh, si client, kasi dahil international client nga yung gusto nyo kunin, syempre kailangan alam nyo din itong uh, tools na to. Kasi, this, these are the tools na very useful and this will be the solution for those freelancers and clients nila na mag-collaborate remotely. So, ito Dropbox. So, punta lang kayo sa dropbox.com. You can register. Kasi here, in Dropbox, you can share files with your friends and also complete all the certain tasks na pwede mag-increase ng monthly storage space mo. So, kami kasi, we purchase a big storage. Okay? So, sa Dropbox, kasi kailangan namin kasi nga we have a business. And malalaki yung file namin. So, ito very common to, which is a uh, the Google Drive, very popular naman doon. No? So, I think yung iba naman sa inyo, you know this already. Okay? So, pwede ka dito gumawa ng documents, ng mga sheets and slides. Sometimes, si client, gusto nila dito nilalagay yung business in Dropbox. So, spin back up. Ang spin back up, actually, medyo redundant na to. Redundant to dahil, pero maganda to kasi para naman to doon sa mga Google, if, if madalas ka talaga gum gumamit ng mga Google products, katulad ng Gmail, pwede itong spin back up. Kasi it will back up your Google products off-site. Okay? So, makikita mo siya 
uh, medyo sound strange, di ba? Kasi uh, i-backup mo pa, ay eh, naka-backup na nga siya sa Google Drive, di ba? So, but if you are, uh, if your Google account ay na-hack, so ito, ito yung best tool na pwede mong gamitin, lalo na pagka pumunta ka sa may hindi ka mag-computer sa labas, so ito yung best tool na pwede mong gamitin. Lalo na pag marami kayong backup ni client. Okay? Next one, so communication uh, skill naman or communication tools. Ito si Boomerang kasi, uh, writing better email. So ito, nai-schedule ni Boomerang yung, uh, yung, yung email. So nai-schedule niya. Okay? So sometimes si Boomerang also can be used to move the sale forward or pwedeng uh, inaallow nito na makita yung emails na na-open na, na-read na, or na-click na. So ganun din, install mo din siya dun sa Gmail mo para magkaroon ka ng uh, boomerang. So depending on the needs of your client or depende rin sa, sa needs mo. Okay, so since nang start ka pa naman, so siguro wag muna, pero maganda, aralin mo ng pakonti-konti. Okay, ito naman, si Hunter. So, hunter.io helps you to find a specific email address na if you want to pitch a prospect or kunyari sa isang company, pwede kang, kunyari, si johndoat.com. So, uh, i-enter mo lang yung full name at saka yung domain name uh, ng email address. Okay? So, dito ka pwedeng humanap ng mga company or mga prospect mo, mga leads. Kung ano yung email nila. Okay? So, yun siya. This is an email finding tool. Okay? Next naman yung Voila Norbert. So, Voila Norbert, actually, ganun din to eh. Email finder out din siya. Then, eto, yung email na to, this is an email verifying tool wherein it will allow you to upload a list of emails at pwede din makakuha ka ng results sa, kanyari, pwede kang kumuha ng, ng result. Oh, tama ba itong email na to So, pwede din maraming, maraming mga uh, lumabas na emails like dito, potential investors. So, tatlo yung contact. So, pwede mo dito i-research. Okay? Ngayon, ang tanong is, paano naman if Sasagot na ako. How how sure am I na ma, na mababayaran ako ng client ko online? Eh ang layo niya, wala kang habol doon. Huwag po kayong mag-alala kasi na experience namin yung mag-asawa. And uh, yung experience na yon, yun yung experience na talagang natuto kami how to handle our client and paano kami sa kanila hihingi ng down payment. Okay, so number one, kailangan tandaan nyo lang, you have to research on your client online. Marami sa mga group, especially sa virtual assistant network group, there's a lot of uh, foreign clients. Pero, my reminder to everyone, hindi lahat ng mga foreign clients are legit. Again, hindi lahat ng foreign clients are legit. So, meaning to say, uh, kailangan i-research nyo muna sila bago kayo uh, mag-okay or bago kayo tumanggap ng gawa. Okay? So, kami, ang natutunan namin ay eh, humingi kami ng 50% down payment sa client namin bago kami gumawa ng isang task o bago namin ipagawa sa mga VA namin. Kasi ikaw yung kawawa. Okay? So, maraming case sa P1 na group na nagsusumpong sa akin na hindi siya binayaran ng Pinoy na 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 agent or agency kasi ganito hindi din daw siya nabayaran yung mga ganong klaseng mga mga problems so kailangan iwasan niyo na yon so risky din siya so isa sa mga payment gateway na ginagamit namin for uh, for our client is PayPal so usually yung international client namin talaga PayPal okay so, dapat meron kang PayPal or kung meron kang PayMaya account, pwede ka nang remitly din, ginagamit din to ng client namin minsan sa Crelio. Ito naman si Crelio, di ba meron tayong Crelio eh? Si Crelio, um, ito yung parang you have to make uh, art or visual. So, kung magaling ka uh, mga stunning visual na pwedeng gamitin sa mga ng mga professionals or pwede mong ipakita sa client mo as your portfolio. Si Canva din, same din. So, may didiscuss ko yan sa inyo how to do that. Okay? Okay. 
Okay, so let's move on with the... Stop muna natin. Okay, so next one is another tool na ituturo ko sa inyo. Ito yung best project management tool na pwedeng gamitin and collaborating with your client. But before that, syempre, kailangan ko muna ituro yung ibang tool sa inyo. So let's have, ah, nakikita nyo pa rin ba? Okay, so I'll share again my screen. Punta tayo kay Corelio. Ayan. So, si Crelio, sabi ko kanina, you can create an account. So, you can log in. So, pwede Facebook, pwede Google mo lang. Okay. Ayan, dito tayo. Load in. Ayan. So, let's have Alam ko nabuksan ko na siya kanina. Wait lang ah. Wait lang. Saan si it? Sige. Crelio. Yan. So, login tayo. Create a free account. Pwede ka naman mag-create dyan ng free account mo using your, of course, your email. For example, dito tayo sa social media. If you are applying for a social media marketing sa mga client mo, so pwede mo unti-unti, pwede, uh, pwede kang gumawa ng portfolio mo using this tool. Kasi, actually ako, yung first client ko, ito yung hiningi niya sa akin, yung portfolio. Pag tinatanong ako na, always remember na kailangan mong gumawa talaga ng portfolio to prove that you are good with that. Okay? So kami, we ask, ang, ang good thing about the, the VA's training na tinitrain namin before is that uh, parang they have already experienced na eh. So which is true naman. So sa, sa online, sometimes, sa toon naman yon na mas nakakaangat talaga yung mga may experience na. Okay? So let's try this out. So, super dali lang nito kasi ako, I'm not good in graphics. So, can you see my screen? Yan. So, I'm really not good in graphics. So, dalawa tong uh, pwede niyong gamitin. Actually, marami pa siya. So, ito lang muna yung itutulo ko sa inyo. So, if you are, if you really want to be, to, to concentrate in your online career, make sure that your post, kasi alam niyo ba na yung mga client na yan, stock din yan sa inyo eh. Meaning, um, Inoobserbahan din kayo yan online, paano ano yung mga pinupost mo, di ba? So doon, in that way, nakikita nila yung personality ng isang VA. Ah, itong VA na to, palagi ganito nagkaano, ganito yung lagi. So parang iniisip din nila na siguro pag nag-work ko sa akin, same din yung attitude na very magkakomplain din siya, something like that. So let's move on with the Crelio. Ayan, so dito pwede niyong i-edit. So pwede uh, no love is greater than so, if you want to edit it, so pwede ito, ayan, ganyan. Pwede nyo magyan ng underline. Pwede iba yung letter. Pwede ganyan. Okay, sobrang dali lang niya. And ako kasi, ang ginagawa ko, nilalagyan ko siya ng logo ko. So, pinapalagyan ko sa BA namin. O, ito, ito yung gawin mong design. Ganitong color. So, diba? sobrang dali lang siya. Kung hindi ka talaga ma-art or hindi ka magaling sa Photoshop or nahihirapan ka sa Photoshop, Ito yung pwede mong gawin na portfolio that you are doing social media design. So, ito yung papakita mo. Gawa ka na. Okay? Gawa ka na ng sample mo. So, ipon ka habang nag-work ka. If you are a working mom or if you are already working right now sa isang company and you want to shift, make sure na nag-ipon ka na ng portfolio mo. Okay? So, yun lang. Maglalagin lang kayo. Gawa lang kayo ng gawa ng mga free. Maraming free naman dito. And the other one is the, ayan, so meron siyang video, square video post. Ayan, diba? So you can see, pwede sa Facebook post, cover, event cover, Facebook ad, Instagram post. So kasi pag sinabi niyo social media, lahat yan. Dapat i-handle niya siya. 
pag sinabi ni, ni client mo, meron ka bang Pinterest, meron ka bang social media account. So, yun yung tatanong nila sa iyo eh. Uh, ano bang meron ka? Uh, bakit ka sa akin nag apply ng social media management? Diba? Are you are you good or are you okay? Meron ka na bang portfolio? Yun yung palagi kasing tinatanong. And then another one is Canva. So, ito yung madalas ko din gamitin si Canva. Uh, dito ako mas nadadalian. Pero may mga nakikita na ako na mas okay din naman. So, yan. Nakita nyo to. Meron akong ginawa mga posts. So, nilalagyan ko siya. Ini-insertan ko siya. So, dito, uh, I'll just create a design. Ngayon, if you want a poster or social media yung madalas kasi, so, pwede mo tong i-click. Super dali lang din siya. And uh, dito din, ito ang maraming free din. So, kasi dito sobrang dami mo rin pwedeng gawin. So, kaya-click mo lang yan. Tapos, if you want to change the photos, so, pwede kang maglagay dito. Ayan na, na-insert na siya. Can you follow? Ayan. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Ayan, di ba? So, pwede yung transparent. Ayan, pwede mag-insert ka lang ng letters here. Pwede kang mag-type. Diba? Gawa ka ng mga quotes, maraming quotes, tapos mag-post ka sa wall mo, yung background, pwede mo rin siyang bagu-baguhin. Diba? So, are you learning? Ha? Are you learning po ba? Yan. Pwede kayo mag-type kung you are learning. So, mamaya, I am, uh, I would like to request that everyone will open their tab. Sana, if you don't mind, para naman, Para naman, we can see each other, di ba? Para malay nyo, magkaroon tayo ng chance na magkita soon. Kasi we're going to have our and may, uh, live ng VAG. It's a hands-on chat. So, yan si Canva. So, pinapakilala ko sa inyo si Canva at saka si Corelio. So, baka malito kayo ha. So, same lang din yan ng uh, same function din yan. Uh, if you're not good in visuals or hindi ka masyado artistic, you can use that. Okay? So now, let's move on with the Google Calendar. Yan. Papakita ko lang sa inyo kung paano nyo pwedeng gamitin sa Google Calendar. So si Google Calendar, so kanina nabanggit ko nga siya. So nakita nyo, ito yung schedule ko. So ito, pwede nyo rin siyang ilagay sa reminder. Okay, pwede nyo siyang lagyan ng, pwede nyo siyang ilagay sa task, kung task siya. Okay, so depende sa inyo. Ngayon, you can also, uh, ayan. So, ayan. So, lalagyan nyo lang ng date. Kung gusto nyo date lang, yung day lang ngayon. Okay, so yan yung schedule ko for this day. Dahil meron akong free webinar, yan, 7 to 8. Actually, 7 to 8 yung preparation ko. Actually, kanina pa po ako dito. Kasi nga, hindi ko, gusto ko sana mag-Facebook live. Kaso lang, unfortunately, hindi ko siya malagay. Okay? So, mag-Facebook live na lang po ako ulit. Or i-record ko na lang po. Anyway, so, ito siya. Kung gusto niyo naman ng week, pwede din naman. So, ito, days kasi. Okay? So, yan. Days lang siya. So, pag gusto mo naman ng month or week, ito lang siya. Week. Diba? Punong-punong siya. So, kailangan kasi naka-schedule na rin kayo kung ano ba. Ito yung mga regular thing na ginagawa ko. And sometimes, I'm also monitoring our e-com business. So, online din siya. Dati, we have a lot of stores in different area here in Quezon City. Pero dahil sobrang nakakatagod po, uh, we move on or we shift into online na lang. Okay? Are we good? So, yan yung Google Calendar. So, syempre, meron, madaming function kasi ito eh. Si Google Calendar, pwede kayong gumawa dito ng mga documents instead na sa Word na lang. So, pwede nyo dito install. Dito yung ini-install nyo yung mga, dito yung sinesave lahat. Okay? So, yan. So, kung news, pwede kayong tumingin dito. So, dito naman tayo. Ito naman for accounting naman to eh. So, say purchase process of so, 5 five or 555 ba to? So, yan. Dito naman, for accounting naman siya sa mga business owners. So, kunyari, pag tinanong ka ng, uh, ng iyong client, are you, do you know how to use this? So, yan, yung remote agency. Ginawa ko lang siya ngayon kasi uh, iba kasi yung ginagamit namin. And the next one is the, uh, ano ba yung tool natin? So, 
Canva, si PayPal. So, ngayon, gawa kayo ng PayPal nyo. Ayun, si Dropbox. Yan nga, ito po yung Dropbox namin. So, si Dropbox, ganun din. You can also save um, here. Yan. So, nakita nyo yung Dropbox na yan. Dito yung mga clients. Dito namin sinasave. Kasi, uh, yun. Baka kasi ma ma mag-crash yung ano namin, computer. And malalaki kasi yung files. So, in Dropbox, gagawa din kayo ng account. So, I have an account here. So, you can uh, up upload files here. Photos. You can also share. Ayan. Shares. So, dito yung photos. Nakita nyo puro mga ano. And then, we have, uh, yun, mga deleted files. So, ganun din siya. Parang, instead of using USB, you can also, uh, you can use this in Dropbox. Diba? So, Yan. Ito naman si Ring Central naman for Gmail to. So, kunyari, uh, tataw pinapatawagan ka ni client sa isang client din. So, pwede rin to. International at saka yung Philippines magtatawa pwede. Pero ako, ang ginagamit ko talaga is yung Skype. Yan yung madalas kong gamitin si Skype. Okay? Tayo. Okay. So, next one. Ano ba yung tool na isa? Ayun, yung Hootsuite. So, social media management kasi, ako kasi ang ginagamit ko talaga is Hootsuite. So, ito siya. Si Hootsuite, dati kasi free ito eh. Ay, ngayon kasi parang meron na siyang bayad. Okay, pero pwede ito yung trial. So, pakita ko lang sa inyo si Hootsuite. Ayan. So, ito yung ginagamit namin sa clients din namin pagka gusto namin or kunyari nagpapasocial media management. So, dito kami, ayan, so makikita nyo yan, reconnect, reconnect, so makikonnect daw kami. So, let's have, let's try to make, ito yung mga nakaschedule, kasi ito, automatic na kasi siya. So, as you can see here, ayan, walang nakaschedule, hindi, na-post na kasi, 14-15 kasi siya. So, automatic yan, pero sa Facebook kasi, hindi siya pwede, Facebook account na personal lang, hindi siya pwede. Pwede lang siya sa page. Okay, so automatic siya na nag uh, nag nagpo-post. Okay? So kasi 'di ba, sobrang masyadong maraming tasks. So ito yung uh, client namin si Black Mamba. So as you can see here, naka-schedule na siya ng Sunday, naka-post na yan, tapos meron ng 18, 19 para hindi na rin kami mapagod. Kasi 'di ba nakakapagod yung nakatuto ka tapos hintay mo yung 10 AM. Hintay mo yung 11, hintay mo yung 5 p.m., di ba? So, masyado. Dito sa Hootsuite, ginagamit to sa mga social media manager or sa mga client na sobrang busy na o oh, kami, may team kami. Ito yung ginagamit namin. So, I don't need to hire another virtual assistant para lang tumutok na mag-post. So, ito, automatic na siya. Okay? So, hindi nakakapagod. So, try nyo si Hootsuite. Tapos gawa din din ng schedule. Lagawin nyo, screenshot nyo rin siya. Tapos, ang gawin nyo, save nyo siya sa isang folder. That will be your portfolio already. And, ang the best thing pa doon, yeah, this coming, uh, I think this coming uh, August, we're going to have our uh, VAG class. Okay? So, sa mga VAG naman namin na student, actually, ang ginagawa namin dyan is, uh, if you are our student and then you refer someone who wants to learn a virtual assistant or freelancing, so we give them a 20% commission. So, habang naghihintay sila, they recruit and then we'll teach them what to post. Okay? So, abangan nyo, this August, we're going to have another class ng VAG batch. So, sabay-sabay siya. Okay? So, next tool. Ito, actually, madami akong tool na gusto ituro sa inyo. So, dito tayo kay True. Asana. Asana siya. Ayan. So, pag sinabi nyo naman, si Asana, ganun din siya yung project management. Inaantok na po ba kayo? So, kay Trello muna tayo. Ito kasi yung ginagamit ko, si Trello. Hindi Asana. Ayokong umasa. Ayan. So, yan. Si Trello. Ito si Trello naman for project management siya. So, kung kunyari, meron kang gusto, meron kang isang, kunyari, dito sa remote agency namin, andito yung mga tasks ng mga VAs namin na nakikita nyo. 
Yeah, medyo mahaba-haba ito pagka tinuro ko sa inyo eh. But uh, you can try to search on Google kung medyo nagmamadali kayo. Yan, so nandyan yung mga tasks, yung mga company na kinikater namin. Haba, di ba? Hanggang dulo yan eh. Pag, ayan, yan, yan, yan. <laughs> so, yun. Yan siya. So, i-invite nyo lang yung, kunyari, kayo ngayon, yung nandito kayo, i-invite ko kayo sa Trello. Pero kailangan, meron kayo siyempre, Trello account. Okay? So, are you learning? Are you okay? Hindi pa ba kayo inaantok? Do you have any questions so far? May question po ba? Pwede pong magtanong. You can raise your hand if you want to ask questions. Naku, hindi na po sila sumasagot. So, are you learning? Or okay ba kayo? Nakikita nyo ba? So, nakikita nyo na we have an e-com uh, business. So, marami po kasi yan. Uh, raise hand. Yes, J Jenny. Yes, Jenny. What is your... Do you have question? Jenny ba yan? Jenny. Ano pong question mo do you have? Okay. So, natututo naman. Medyo nalate ka ba, Miss Jenny? Or okay lang? Okay. So now, let's have, uh, yan, yung Google Docs, madalas namin gamitin yan. So ito si Canva. Yan, nandiyan si photos, yung mga elements, so yung background, pwede. And alam nyo ba, na pwede rin kayong kumuha sa Pixabay ng mga photos ninyo para sa mga designs. Gusto nyo ba ng sample? Do you want sample? Type yes if you want sample. Regarding sa Canva, I saw that there's a watermark. So, it's not free. You have to pay for it. Yeah. So, pero syempre, kayo, nagsisimula pa lang kayo, March, huwag ka na muna kumuha nung may bayad. Syempre, kailangan. Dito mo makikita. Usually, pag bago na VA or kung yan, start pa lang kayo, huwag yung kukuha ng mga may bayad. And make sure din na uh, pag sinabi ng client nyo na, you have to pay for this, huwag yung magbabayad. Okay. Sa watermark, tingnan natin si Canva na may watermark. Meron siya talagang watermark, pero merong wala. So, syempre, yung hahanapin mo yung libre muna. Okay? So, hindi naman ako nagbayad dito. Yan, tingnan nyo dito. Pwede ka rin dito gumawa ng resume mo. Ayan, di ba? Nakita mo? So, inedit edit ko lang siya. So, nakita mo, wala siyang watermark, pero hindi ako nagbayad dyan. Free lang yan, ma'am. Okay? Okay? So, kung gusto mo mag-create ng design, sige, yung hanapin natin yung sinasabi ni Miss Marge na may watermark. Hanapin natin, ha? All your designs. So, actually, lahat ng designs ko wala tong bayad, eh. Free lang siya talaga. Lang. Hinahanap ko yung water, yung sinasabi mo na may water. Actually, meron siya talaga. May mga, may, yung iba doon may bayad, yung iba wala. Huwag na kayo doon sa may bayad, okay? Okay po ba? Nasagot ko ba, Miss Marge, yung uh, tanong mo? Sorry, yan, nasa gilid kasi. Yay! Okay, so yon Oh, yung iba dyan na tools, may bayad, mag-upgrade ka. Katulad ni Husby, so free siya mag-log in. Pero syempre, magbabayad ako niya after, I think, 30 days yung dati. Dati kasi pwede yung ano, um, pinapayagan nila yung parang sa Facebook page account. Ngayon, hindi na. So, nakakalungkot. Kaya habang free siya, itry nyo lang ng itry. Okay. <laughs> Hiningan na ako. So, eto siya si Husby. Meron pa isa. Si, um, si Buffer. Ganun din. Ganun din siya. So, maglalogin ka lang din. Social media management din siya. So, dito, makikita mo din yung lagat siya. Wala nga. Wala yung sa husband. Wala yung sa husband. Kalimutan ko na kasi yung password. So, same lang din siya. So, makikita mo dito yung product. Pwede ka mag-publish. Collaborate and publish. Reply. Analyze. Diba? Diba? So, sa pricing naman, yun nga, ang sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, meron siyang free at meron din siyang merong bayad. So, ito siya, $15 per month. Tapos, may $65 per month. Merong $99 per month. 
So, and then there is also eight social accounts. So, syempre, pag pamahal ng pamahal, um, marami rin siyang ano, marami din na uh, pwedeng gamitin sa kanya. Okay? Ayaw pala mag slide. Now, uh, let's move on tayo. So, tapos na tayo dyan. So, who's free social media management? Pwede na project management. Pwede na rin kayo dyan. Uh, buffer, social media management. Pwede na rin. Okay? Ano pa? Yan. So, check ko lang. I'll just stop sharing muna. So, dito tayo. So, if you want to, ano, to join uh, our group, lahat naman kayo, no? I think lahat kayo ay member na ng group namin sa Philippine Virtual Assistant. Tama po ba? Are you all, ano, are you all members? Tsaka sa Virtual Assistant Network. Kasi sa Virtual Assistant Network, um, ano dun eh, um, ang mga foreign clients kasi doon. Foreign and Filipino clients. So, uh, make sure lang na if you are already if you are already ready to to be an online uh, or freelancer virtual assistant um, you have to take all the consequences so like me before i resigned as a teacher in public school talagang nagtry muna ako to get my own client and then i do it in part time Kung kaya mo na part-time, i-part-time mo muna siya. And then once okay ka na with the client, resign. Para makapag-concentrate ka. Okay? So, ma-enjoy nyo lahat yan. And then, maka-encounter pa kayo ng client na mabait. Bibigyan kayo na iPad. Na-experience namin yan. Binigyan yung husband ko na iPad. Tapos, yun, meron pa dyan. Pupunta dito. They will treat you. Ganon. Okay? So, do you have any questions so far? Ayan, baka lang. Hindi pa ako maganda dyan. Wait lang po. So, yeah. Do you have any questions so far? Any question? Ipad ko lang. Pwede, kayong, pwede ko kayong bigyan ng mic or pwede ko kayo, kung may question po kayo, pwede kayong magsalita. I-unmute ko lang kayo. Sige. Kung wala nang question, ah, uh, Type good night. <laughs> Kung meron pang question, pwede pa kayo mag-isip ng mga questions ninyo. And then you can email us. Oh, by the way pala, if you want to join our this August pala, you can try to check this out. Yeah. Okay. So, you can check this out. Nandito yung iba naming uh, student Ayan. So, makikita nyo po, uh, dito yung mga videos nila, yung mga student namin na naging successful in VA. Ayan. Ito, this is the our complete online coaching. But we're going to have, dahil kayo po ay nag-join tonight, we're going to give you a very, very, very low price on August. So, Watch out for our next, uh, please type in your email address para maka, makakuha kayo ng update. So, we will be giving you a special prize. So, pero kami, right uh, on August, ito yung gagawin namin or ito yung mangyayari on August. Okay? So, you can check all the testimonials here and yung sample interview with the clients. So, pwede po kayo dyan. But for the meantime, dahil kayo ay DC, so siguro attend attend muna kayo ng mga webinars para matuto kayo or yun, you can join us on August. Okay? So do you have any questions so far? Of my questions yun yung ma'am. Wait lang ha. Ayun. Okay, si Miss Karen lang yung nagbigay ng ano, ng email. So, I'll wait for other other email. Pukunin ko lang siya. Ah, pwede po dito, Miss Marge. Pwede dito, Miss Marge, yung email mo. Lalagay ko lang siya sa save ko siya kasi. Yan. Okay. Kailangan, stop ko lang yung ano siya. 
Spirit. Ayan. So, okay na po ba tayo? So, waiting lang ako sa other email. So, once again, thank you for joining. I hope marami kayong natutunan. Pwede ko po bang malaman kung marami kayong natutunan ngayon? So, by the way, invite ko rin kayo na mag-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel, Ivan Academy Channel. Pwede po. Yes, Miss Jenny, pwede mo naman siyang uh, panoorin ng uh, ano ng ng replay kasi I will be recording this and pwede ko namang i-share. Okay? So I will try to have my Facebook live siguro tomorrow then if kakayanin. So anyone, sino pa magbibigay ng email, please uh, type here. I'll be waiting for your email. Ayan, okay? So, again, so thank you so much for, yeah, for attending. And whenever po I come up with any question after this webinar, yes, you can email me at um, info or pwede sa VAG support at EOL.com. Take a type po. Wait lang ha. Uh, pwede naman info at Okay. Or uh, you can add me, pwede naman. Kaya lang minsan hindi po ako yung mahawak ng messenger ko. So baka mamaya hindi po ako yung uh, hindi po ako yung sumasagot doon. So anyway, so thank you so much for watching or for attending our webinar. I hope ma-upload ko to tomorrow or I can have my Facebook live tomorrow. Okay? Thank you so much and God bless. Bye guys.